It's the Kingpin, ready to have some fun. Now what we talking about today? Before we get started, I have to give away one of these wristbands. Shout out to you guys. All you have to do is comment on this video and on my next video, I'll be giving away another, uh, another one of these wristbands. And the winner goes to 13 Cups of Glory with comment Nathan, Nathan Peterman, 400 plus yards. <laughs> we'll get it right into that, but let's get on to this video. So Bills lose week one, 46 to three. What a pathetic performance all the way around. But enough about how bad the defense looked. Enough about how bad our running game looked. Let's get right to it. Like I've been saying from day one, Nathan Peterman should have never been the starting quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. He just shouldn't have been. Sean McDermott failed us again. This whole trusting of a process, come on now. Josh Allen should have easily been the starter. It just sucks that every year we have to go through the same situation to where we're toying around with the position, trotting out somebody out there who's not deemed the franchise, but let's just see what happens because we're afraid to be bold. We're afraid to make those tough decisions. Josh Allen couldn't have looked any worse than what Nate Peterman did. You should have known that going in, but no. People get duped by the preseason. People take preseason as facts, like it really means something. Like teams are really game planning. Like I've been saying for a couple videos now, the offensive line was not gonna look as bad as what it did in preseason. Yes, they weren't perfect. Like most lines, they made a few mistakes, but this game isn't on the offensive line. It isn't on the defense. Yes, we gave up 46 points, but it's hard to put a lot of blame on the defense when the offense only had one first down the entire first half. Sean McDermott botched this from the very beginning by one, not giving Josh Allen barely enough first team reps, then once you give him first team reps and a start in preseason, you toy around with the offensive line the entire game. And now, you're most likely going to have to go to Josh Allen next week, and guess what? He still hasn't had that many first team reps because you gave it all to AJ McCarron and you gave it all to Nate Peterman. We see this year after year, toying around with the position. You drafted up to get Josh Allen. He never looked out of place. Yet, you were trying to coddle him and make sure that everything is perfect? Let the man go ahead and start going forward. Let him go through his lumps, and let's move forward. I wanted to keep this video nice, short, and sweet, so leave your comments below. Let me know how you feel about the game overall. Now, what I do want to say before I sign off, Matt Milano, Tremaine Edmonds, Trey White, Marcus Murphy, all look very solid. So huge shout out to them. Hopefully they can, you know, keep that going forward. Sean McDermott, Nate Peterman failed you again. This is the second time. He failed you again. Don't let him do it again.